There you go. Off the mic segment today. This is always my favorite part of the time of the day, Teddy, because I get to rant a little bit and be that, you know, you're just an old curmudgeon old man, Donnie, sometimes. And you're right. <laughs> Who are the schedule makers, Teddy? What are we doing here? Yesterday, you feed me baseball all day long. Philadelphia Phillies, I'm excited. I can watch games all during the day. At night, I get the Sweet 16. I'm ready today. I'm like, man, I can't wait for the Phillies to get back on the diamond. And they're not playing. And I said, okay. Well, I'll sit here in the afternoon. I'll watch a couple opening like t- weekend series during the day, and I can really enjoy it. No games. Then let's take a look at the NCAA Sweet 16 last night, Teddy. I'm laying in bed when they're tipping their games off. What gives here? I'm telling you. I said the same thing yesterday. Just move to Vegas. You have no problems <laughs> with the starting time. The only problem with the starting times in Vegas is they start too early on the weekends. You're like, oh, shoot, I can't go drinking on Friday night the way I used to. That's it. I'm telling you. The baseball, I agree with your assessment that I would love to see daytime baseball again today. I love to see daytime baseball on the reg, but that's not the way it works. That's not the way MLB financials work. Guess what? The TV audience is at night, and that's what matters. It's all a dollars and cents decision. NCAA running tournament games late, why? Dollars and cents. MLB running uh, only night games, why? Dollars and cents. If you want more day games, figure out a way to get more people to watch during the day so that the leagues can make their money with earlier starts in the current system, in the current format, you either move out west or you deal with it. I moved out west. 